What is going on guys? Nick here with another video. Today I'm going to show you a trick to free up a substantial amount of disk space on your computer and increase the life of your SSD if your computer has one. If this video helps you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also check out the affiliate links in the description below if you want to help the channel by doing things you do already. All right, enough self-promotion, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is note how much space we currently have. And you can see here on my 256 gig SSD, I currently only have about 70 gigabytes free. Now I have a lot of programs and STL files and video files and different things on this machine. So it's not surprising to me that I don't have a ton of space left. However, I'm pretty sure I should have at least 20 more gigs than what I've got. So, Next thing we want to do is try to figure out what is taking up all the space. Now you can dive into your C drive and right click on each file and look at properties and look at the uh, storage consumed by each directory, but there's a much easier way of figuring this out. I like to use a free tool to do this called Tree Size. This video is not sponsored by Tree Size and I don't get any money from your use of the software but I think they have a fantastic product that makes this sort of task very easy and painless. You can get a copy of this software for free at a link at the link in the description of this video. So you can also just pull up your browser and search tree size free. No matter what search engine you use, it should you should be able to find it. I use the one, well, use the one from Jam Software that is the real developer. Anything else is probably fake. And you can just choose whatever you want here. Tree size free, free download, free download. Use the one that corresponds to your system. Typically, you'll want to use the EXE installer as that's the simplest. We'll continue with free. You don't have to sign up for the email. As you can see, my download is already finished. Click the link or click yes to allow it to make changes. Setup language, use your own setup language. Accept the license agreement, read it if you care. The installation only takes a second. Now, it's important that you run tree size as an administrator so that it can see absolutely all of the files in your file system. If you're not comfortable doing this, it does work totally fine not running it as an administrator. You just won't be able to see some of the system files where some file corruption and duplicate files may exist. So that's up to you. I like to run it as an admin just so I can see everything. Hit next. And wait a few seconds while it indexes your drive. Um, what it's doing basically is looking through all of these directories and seeing what is taking up the most space. So you can see I have one disk in this system and 171 gigabytes in use. 52 gigs is in my users folder, which is pretty common but there's this 36.8 gig that's just six files on the root of my C drive. And you can see right here, it is our old friend who likes to mooch off of our system resources, pagefile.sys. Now what the page file does is it will actually swap some program memory out of RAM and write it temporarily to your drive. This can be useful if you have a system that, a uh, lower end system that doesn't have much memory However, constantly writing to an SSD will greatly shorten its life. So we can't just delete this file. Uh, what we want to do instead is disable pagefile.sys. And in order to do that, we need to get to some advanced performance settings of our system. So what I'm going to do is hold the Windows key and hit the R button to pull up a run dialog. You can also get this run dialog by right clicking on the start button and clicking run. And then we're going to type system properties advanced, all one word. And this will pull up the advanced settings screen. We're going to hit settings under performance. And then we're going to click advanced. And then right here, you can see we have virtual memory. This is what we want to change. You can see I have 21 and a half gigabytes allotted for the page file. Uncheck automatically manage paging. No paging file is what I'm going to pick because I have 16 gigs of RAM in this system, which is plenty for what I want to do. You may want to set a custom size, just one that's smaller. So you would choose, you know, anywhere from 256 megabytes to 
two gigabytes or something like that to where you're not going to be tearing through so much of your storage. I'm just going to pick no paging file, click OK. And then it says the changes you've made require you to restart your computer before they take effect. So I'm going to reboot the PC and we are going to see how much space I have available after doing this compared to what I had in the beginning. OK, the computer has rebooted. And as you can see, I now have 91 gigabytes free. So you can repeat this process and find other files that are uh, taking up space on your system. But uh, for me, getting 20 gigabytes back is plenty. Now again, if you have four gigabytes of RAM or less, you may want to consider not actually doing this because uh, you could end up having a more sluggish system. But you should adjust your page file size, especially on those lower end systems. Some of them only have like a 64 gig or 128 gig SSD in them. So you want to, you know, maximize the resources that are available to you as much as possible. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, 20 gigs back out of this is not a bad deal for not actually having to delete any files. And on a system like mine, you will not lose any performance or anything like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Again, if this helped you out, please leave a like, subscribe, consider using the affiliate links below to shop for things you like, and I'll see you in the next video.